Hello YouTube, I am the Javon and today I am doing a reaction video. I will be reacting to Why Didn't Belgium Let the Germans Through in World War I? This video is made by History Matters, which is a channel that I love for making videos that um, on history that are both digestible um, and hilarious, basically meme history videos. And I'm really excited to watch this video because um, this is honestly a question um, I've wondered for a while because in a previous History Matters video they talked about how Belgium was actually kind of, um, if not friendly then, they kind of made some nice over overtures toward the Germans uh, prior to the war. So without further ado, um, I will get this started playing in 3, 2, 1, go! The First World War saw Belgium occupied by Germany for about four years. Yeah. This came about after the Belgian government refused to allow German troops to move through the country and into France. But given the power disparity between Germany and Belgium, why didn't the Belgian government just let them through? So the first reason was simple. fine. <laughs> the Belgians didn't trust the Germans. Berlin had okay. access to yeah. Belgium by saying the French were planning to invade to get to Germany. Shocking okay. the Belgians didn't take this intel very seriously. They lying. <laughs> if their troops were allowed to cross Belgium, then it would be totally up to Berlin when and if they ever left. And historically, the Germans weren't ones to just give back territory that they occupied, and in <laughs> yeah. particularly kind to the non-Germans who lived there. Uh. The Belgian government had no intention of becoming a German puppet, and so the answer was always going to be a no. Wait, 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 what? What did that say? Dear Germany, your intel about France wanting to invade is fake. To quote a great wizard in a book that hasn't been written yet, you cannot pass. All the best, King Albert of Belgium. Oh my gosh. This guy never fails. It was always going to be a no. The second reason was contracts. Belgium had been founded as a permanently neutral state, and allowing German troops to cross would have meant nullifying that. The Entente wouldn't have seen Belgium acquiescing as them trying to save themselves, but as them being complicit in the Central Powers' attack on France. Yeah. Which would mean that Belgium would likely be subject to attacks by the Entente in return. Beyond that, if Belgium reneged on its foundational principle, then the international community may not see much of a reason for it continuing. In this scenario, it's a sort of... If you haven't watched, um, if you haven't, if you don't know this channel, um, or if you haven't watched it, go watch this uh, History Matters video, Why Does Belgium Exist? Basically, the whole reason that Belgium exists is that after the Napoleonic Wars, it was, it, this strip of territory, um, th this territory, um, was originally incorporated, or what is now Belgium was incorporated into the Netherlands, um, and, but basically the, the Netherlands king, um, was despotic, um, and he was not respectful of the South's mostly, mostly Catholic population. They seceded and the great, and basically all the European powers basically said, all right, we'll let you secede, um, if you retain your monarchy and you become permanently neutral. So, yeah, that's interesting. So basically if they lost their, if they, renounce their neutrality, then France might get the idea to, you know, hey, why don't we just take uh, Wallonia? The Dutch might say, hmm, I'm, I'll help myself to the north. And Britain, who had basically become um, Belgium's guarantee of neutrality, if you don't know, that's actually why Britain um, officially went to war, was over um, Germany's invasion of a neutral country. Um, so yeah, uh, I went on for too long. Let's keep going subject to attacks by the Entente in return. Yeah. Beyond that, if Belgium reneged on its foundational principle, then the international community may not see much of a reason for it continuing. In this scenario, if the Central Powers won, then Belgium would just be a puppet. However, if the Entente were victorious, then there was a risk of Belgium ceasing to exist altogether. Whereas, if yeah, I, I called it, I called it, I called it. If the Entente were victorious, then there was a risk of Belgium ceasing to exist altogether. Yeah, I called it. Um, Fr France takes the South, Dutch, the, the, um, the Netherlands take the North. Funny enough, um, there's actually kind of a secession movement um, in Belgium right now. It might be worth uh, paying attention to if you're into international politics. Whereas, if Belgium resisted in the Entente one, it knew that it would be restored to full independence. And the Belgians... Yeah, it's a big if. ...if any major power demanded territorial access to fight a war, then its answer would always be no. The third reason is a simple one. International law at the time made it clear that small nations, at least the ones in Europe, that is, weren't... <laughs> to Wait, sorry. Sometimes... ...small nations, at least the ones in Europe, that... Sometimes you, not you. 
Yeah, sometimes you South America, some not you Africa and Asia. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, but true. We can only mostly do what we want. And what is that, friends? Joseph, um, and then Kaiser Wilhelm. Yeah. Resisting anyone who tried to march troops through their territory meant that the Belgians were legally in the right. And reason number four was a big one. The government oh. believed that it could actually stop the German advance. Really? Their own, obviously, but the government had received assurances from both France and Britain that they would send troops to help them fight. Okay, As such, the fair German enough. The military was confident that collectively they could hold the Germans here and spare most of the country occupation. Of course, that's not how it happened, but optimism was a big part of the decision making. Wow. So, when Germany demanded access to Belgian lands, the government said no. Go around. <laughs> the German invasion, and by extension, the entrance of Britain into <laughs> Scrap of paper. Yeah, Britain entering the war. They didn't want to enter the war, but they knew they had to. And even after the war was over, Under new management. <laughs> Never again unless it happens, yeah. Again, is the reason why Belgium Sorry, what? The commitment to neutrality extension the entrance of Britain into the war. And even after the war was over, the commitment to neutrality and fear of a war being fought on Belgian soil again is the reason why Belgium refused to enter an alliance with Britain or France in the years before the Second World War. I hope you right. this episode well, the that didn't end up mattering because uh, um, Hitler just rolled over Belgium like like that. To France in the years before the Second World War. It'll upset him. I yeah. I enjoyed this episode with a special thanks to my patrons, James Bizanet. Yep, James Bizanet. Yeah, I get it. Martin, Yuduan Wang, Marcus Arsner, Wyan Hockey, Alex Schwinn, AF Firefly, Captain Sidog, Spencer Lightfoot, Gus. Who is that in the background? Marvin Cassell, Winston Kaywood, spinning three plates, Andy McGeehy, Kamoon Yoon, calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard, Todd Short, Copper Tone, Maggie Patskowski, Words About Books podcast, Jim Strunberg, Miss Is. And Charles the first. All right, so that was a great video. Um, hilarious and interesting as always. Um, I actually didn't uh, realize that uh, Belgium was a uh, more. Oh, oh, sorry, um, I didn't realize that uh, Belgium was more uh, optimistic uh, than they actually were. Um, yeah. All in all, great video, very interesting, very informative, very funny. Um, just as History Matters always is. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, in the future, um, I, if, you, if anyone wants to make uh, reaction suggestions, uh, feel free. I, I may not um, take them up uh, because I have other videos um, to be making. Uh, but anyway, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Um, have a good night.